So you want to make amazing sound effects for your Kunker mods. This is very easy, follow all my steps and I promise you in the end of this video, you will have your own custom sounds. Okay. Make sure to like and subscribe, I would highly appreciate it. The first thing you need to do is download the how to mod pack. You can find it in my discord server. I have made a mod template. So this is where you put all your files. Go back to the how to mod template and go to default sounds. Here are all the sounds that Krunker uses. If you want to edit the audio, you need to download something that's called Audacity. Just go in the first link of the description and click on this right here. Save it and install it. I'm gonna start up Audacity. Now go to your default sound textures and I want to change the crit sound. Just drag and drop it into your Audacity. This is how the crit sounds like. I'm gonna explain three ways how you can edit or make your own audio. The first way is to edit the sound. You can't really do much with editing the sound alone, but it's at least something. Just double click on the track you want to edit, go to effects, and the first thing I'm gonna do is add a bass boost. So click on filter curve AQ, click on it, go to manage, factor presets, bass boost, click on OK. Now I'm gonna click on effects again, filter curve AQ, and click on low roll off before speech, click on OK. You see here that the audio is way too loud. You don't want this in your audio because that is clipping. It will just distort your audio. So double click it, go to effects, click on normalize and click on OK. Now you can see that there is no clipping happening. Copy the empty part and paste it here. Just paste it so that you have some room to work with. Click on this bar right here double click on it, go to effects, reverb, manage, factor presets and medium room. Click on ok. On the end you have a really rough cut. You can change it with selecting the whole clip, go to effects and fade out. So this is before and this is after. I recommend to record your own sounds because it just gives way more opportunity and it will sound a lot better. The way you want to record your own sounds is to just only record one sound or to stack multiple sounds on each other. I want to make a new layer, so I just go to tracks, add new, mono. I'm just gonna click on solo so I won't hear this track and do some sounds that I think would sound cool. I've made a lot of sounds, but this is a good thing. This gives me a lot more sounds to work with. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you delete all the background noise. Select the part that just is silent. Go to effects, noise reduction, click on get noise profile. Double click on the track you want to edit, effects, noise reduction and now click on OK. Now we're gonna make the track louder. Go to effects and click on normalize. You see, these are all the sounds I've recorded. So now I'm just gonna take the best out of it. So these are the sounds I want to use. I think if I would stack them on each other, they would sound really cool. I'm gonna add three more tracks. Tracks at new mono, tracks at new mono, tracks at new mono. I'm gonna copy this sound and paste it on here. And I'm gonna copy this sound and paste it on here. Fuck, I didn't need to make this track. Let's have a look at the bubble sound. The sound sounds good, but I think it could be improved. Click on solo again, double click on the track, go to effects. Filter Curve AQ, go to Manage, Factory Presets and click on Bass Boost. Now you click on OK to apply it. Go to Effects again, same thing, Filter Curve AQ, Manage, Factory Presets and Low Roll of Before Speech. Click on OK again. This looks good for me. Let's select this tool to change the audio position. I'm gonna make it in line with the audio here. 
Now go to the other track and click on solo. It's a click sound. There isn't much to edit about it. Same as here. Let's have a look how the sounds sound together. <laughs> they sound very good. I'm gonna change the position a little bit. Okay, they sound good. I'm gonna change the loudness. I'm just gonna decrease it. Just like that. Trim the end part. Just select the end part and delete it. Now what I'm going to do is select the last part of the audio, go to effects and click on fade out. I'm very happy with the sound. Now click on file, export, export as mp3. Go to your mod folder, go to sounds and just save it in here. Click on ok. I'm going to change the headshot sound as well. The thing I'm going to show you right now is how to take a, for example, a part of a YouTube video and put it in here as sound effect. First, let's have a look at the normal default sound effect. I'm going to search Among Us Dead Sound. I'm just going to take a Among Us Kill sound effect. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Go to a YouTube converter, paste the link and click on MP3. Convert and click on download. Open your Audacity again, open a file explorer, go to your downloads and drag it on here. It already sounds very good. I'm going to trim the audio and just delete it. And at the end part, I'm going to do a fade out. The next thing I'm going to do is add a bass and add a treble boost. So go to filter curve AQ, go to manage factory preset and bass boost. Click on OK. Effect, filter curve AQ, manage factory preset, treble boost. OK. Now I'm going to decrease the audio because you see here that it's getting too loud. Go to effects and click on normalize. Click on OK. And this is the sound. It sounds really good and I really want to use it as my headshot sound. Go to file, export, export mp3 and just like that click on save. Okay. And this is it. It is very easy and I'm sure everyone can do it. Don't hold back, if you have an idea just do it. If even I can make sound effects, I'm sure you can do it as well. I'm drinking my pure water right now, no caffeine, no sodas, just pure water and I advise you doing the same. It is very important nowadays to drink enough water and just take care of yourself. I see you in the next video.